All right, what's good, everybody? We are back uh, with our uh, Friday night live stream, but this time we're gonna do a what kind of like a catch up to get up to date. Mustard. Mmm, condiments. Speaking so, of condiments, <laughs> marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of not <laughs> having condoms, <laughs> right? <laughs> Babies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're gonna talk about uh, marriage as young people that are saved, um, and how important it is to follow certain principles, how uh, vital it is to be with the right person and to be on the same page, how important it is to understand marriage. But it's not gonna be that long. Um, let me stop moving because the screen. But um. Yeah, so we're going to talk about that and uh, let you guys know how our marriages went. Kind of just like a little testimonial, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Uh, sharing with each other. Yeah. But hopefully some of y'all can learn from this. Um, and some of you that may be a little bit older don't feel like I can't listen to them. Maybe it's right. something that we have been through or that we have understood that would be beneficial for your marriage. Mm. You know, so uh, this could be a learning experience for everybody. But, uh, so what are, let's go around the room. What are some key things to understand before marriage that y'all think you don't have to be like too many, but just a few things that you think are key to understand about yourself as an individual before marriage as an individual. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> okay. I'll start. Right. I'll start yeah. and I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do the most obvious ones, but oh, I'm gonna try not to. But I think that some of the most key things that you have to understand as an indiv individual, or at least one of the key things that I think, is that you have to understand how to be alone. Like, mm -hmm. if you don't, oh, yeah. if you can't be alone, then I feel like you will get married or get in relationships for right. the wrong reasons. Right. right. You know, right. and so I think that it's important to understand or to um, know yourself in that alone state not lonely but yeah. alone you know yeah. what i mean so uh i think that's very important before you get married mm -hmm. um so what do y'all think are some other key factors because i know a lot of people are such serial daters nowadays right. that they don't know how to be alone right and so they end up in bad relationships over and over and now they don't know themselves apart from somebody mm -hmm. you right. know what i mean so i think that um, that is one of the key things, especially for, uh, young women, you yeah. know, I think, um, sorry, Ken. but I think as far as, um, I guess I would say trust. Mm. Um, and that's for, if you've been in a previous relationship, um, learning how to move on from, the trauma that you've been through in past relationships where yeah. trust has been a thing where you've allowed it to seep over into another relationship and it may just ruin yeah. a good thing because you can't let it go. Yeah. So I would say to, uh, you know, just kind of forgive, move on from that phase, mm -hmm. um, and kind of learn how to trust and, you know, um, you know, and by the way, this is my wife. I know y'all probably don't remember her besides the, being in the older streams when we was at the apartment, but this is my wife Chantel, and y'all can introduce yourselves yeah. um, when y'all speak. But you, hold you yeah. I thought you had something. Yeah. Um. Ooh, so yeah, I'm Kendry. I'm a sister-in-law, wife to Titus, and I think I would answer. Uh, for me, it was two things: letting go of the past and not bringing past stuff into. Uh, a new relationship and not like past stuff from uh, dating but it can be past stuff with like how how you learn things and how you have to unlearn things in a marriage and then uh I just lost my train of thought <laughs> um, sorry oh my goodness it was a good point and that only happens once you get married yeah. that like also happens oh, after you have a baby oh, no, no, she got um like a lot of people when when they become a uh, fiance and stuff they'll be like oh i need to do this checklist like what all do i need to do to be a wife and stuff mm. but a lot of times you have to wait until you like get 
get in the position mm-hmm. to kind of learn like, oh, I kind of struggle with this. Okay, I need to do better in this area yeah. or I'm I'm okay in this, so let's let's see about other mm-hmm. things. So mm-hmm. don't be too hard on yourself. Right. Right. You got to be this perfect person. That's good. Um I think uh and Kendra kind of took what I was going to say, but I'll find a new one. Introduce. Uh, my name's Titus. I'm Kendra's wife, Tobias's brother. You're who? Kendry's husband, <laughs> Tobias's brother. I think it's right the first time. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you got to learn. Well, I don't think. I know you got to learn to be a team player. Like, mm. even if you used to doing stuff yourself all the time, now you mm. you are two people now. Mm. Like, y'all y'all got married and become one. Yeah. So you have to be a, you have to learn how to be a team player and not try to do everything all the time. By yourself, or always want to be alone. People not your husband or wife That's not gonna idea. always want to be separate from you just because you a loner. You I'm gotta, short. you gotta unlearn that. Kind of, I forgot who said unlearning some things. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we yeah, that's definitely. So learn how to be a team player. Yeah. I think that's super important too because as a loner, you, well, not a loner, but somebody right. who's learning yeah, themselves and, and be being alone. alone, you you can forget how to be a team player. Yeah. And that is important to not forget it, but if you, like when you're not using it, don't forget about it. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. That is true. And be forgiving of yourself as well. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. You might have to sit up a little bit I more. I think that, too yeah, short. you're actually a midget. Because <laughs> Tobias can be saying. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you need a pillow? Yeah, I can get you these. That's fine. I'm, okay. I'm cool, um, I think what Kendra was saying was really good, though, the mm-hmm. forgiveness of others, mm-hmm. forgiveness of yourself, and unlearning things. Because not only, like Chantel was saying, mm-hmm. not only can you uh, bring those trust issues into another relationship if you haven't resolved them, but if you haven't forgiven somebody for how they did you mm-hmm. right. in the past, mm-hmm. yeah. if you see, if the enemy allows you to see one of those same traits in your husband or wife, you can be like, oh no. This is this not. Is, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and, and it goes south fast. Yeah. But if you've truly forgiven somebody and you understand that, mm-hmm. man, this whole thing is not going to be yeah. roses and you know, daisies, whatever. Mm-hmm. That people going to have flaws and that people, as we are married, we're growing together and we change mm-hmm. as we're married. So if if we understand that, then when people make mistakes or things that you didn't expect them to do, you you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like right. to, okay. to an extent. Yeah. 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 To an extent. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, this is another question I have. What did you guys expect mm-hmm. marriage to be like before you got in it? Like just the preconceived notions, the presumptions, uh, the assumptions. Like uh, what did y'all think before you got into it? Um. I would say just that lifetime partnership Mm -hmm. of, um, I know you can have relationships with like your friends outside, Mm -hmm. but like that person that like, I can talk to them, I can confide in them. So that was your expectation. Somebody that I can, that can be my friend forever. Right. My, my best. Right. Yeah. And like I say, um, partnership just mm. not even just that the communication and yeah. just like it's supposed to be fun like right. marriage is not supposed to be doomy yeah, yeah. gloom and doom yeah. like yeah. once you get married you yeah. go oh it's over yeah. like what? take trips experience yeah. life like mm-hmm. yeah oh this might be weird but i didn't really have any expectations um because i know i was telling y'all uh in a conversation we had before um all i've seen in my family is okay you may have girlfriend and boyfriend that mm-hmm. have kids, or you may get married for like a year mm-hmm. and then divorce, and mm-hmm. then that's it. That's and then you just right. have the strong, independent, single moms and stuff that's playing both uh, the mom and dad. So yeah. I didn't really have those. Like I didn't have the family myself to be like I want that for me. You know, right. like an example. So I think. Now I have the expectations of what I want, kind of like Chantel was saying, the the trips, confide, confiding in each other, and all of those things is being happy. But I never really, I always had fear when like dating 
fiance, all that. Mm-hmm. It was always like this fear that I would be in, but you know, now it's gone and then I get to experience that what marriage is really about and what God ordained it to be. Yeah. 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 Um, I think that I think that one of the uh thoughts that I had about marriage because I like my parents, I was blessed to have both my parents right. there the whole time and they I saw there but that don't mean that that example was a good example mm-hmm. right. you know um but my one of my uh thoughts was marriage is supposed to be the thing that uh straightens your life path mm-hmm. like once you I felt like once you get married everything going to work itself out yeah that was like one of my preconceived notions. Like, or at least supposed to work yourself so well. out. But that was my thought. Like, right. I know I got this going on, I got that going on. But once I get married, that person's gonna help me, and I'm gonna help them. Right. Like that was one of my things, and I'm not saying that that's not true, but that was just my. That was one of the um, one. the benefits and the motivators for me to get married. Cause I'm like, I got this going on, I got that going. On. For example, and this may be a little deep, but I I'm, I feel like I'm talking to mature people. Mm-hmm. Um, dealing with lust, mm-hmm. like it would just stop. It would just stop. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, financial problems yeah. or or a lack of financial literacy. Yeah, it would just come from somewhere. Yeah. that's what that was my genuine belief. Mm-hmm. Um, like I was gonna get it together because of the responsibility. I'm just gonna figure it out. Yeah. you know. Um, but that was one of my that was one of my beliefs. Yeah, yeah. I think mine was kind of that too especially with the lust thing like mm-hmm. I was like man when I get married I'm gonna have like an accountability partner right but it takes you to communicate with your accountability partner for them to hold you to accountable right yep. like but you know for a while it did stop but when it came back it came back hard yeah. like and it was very difficult but I had to and that's one of the most like that's one of the most embarrassing things that mm-hmm. I've experienced in my marriage, like having to tell my wife, but it's, it shouldn't have been embarrassing. Mm-hmm. But for me, it was having to tell my wife, babe, I'm struggling with lust. And I just want to let you know, mm-hmm. so you can hold me accountable, make sure I'm not by myself mm-hmm. a lot and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And she, <laughs> this is the thing. Kendra was like, okay, okay. So when is the last time I was like I don't want to get into it. <laughs> but you, I just wait, wait, you came back to that. <laughs> I don't want to get into that. That's it. I just it want really you matter. to hold me accountable for from this minute forward. Yeah, but <laughs> you know? exactly. Yeah. But when we want to be completely vulnerable, right, with somebody who's our life long partner right. that's not just with that even with finances Kendra would be like make sure you keep me updated on the finances but because I'm embarrassed oh my gosh, about what's that. going on now we now she's surprised yep like hold on babe why can't we uh, get exactly. all this off I the thought, list for groceries yep <laughs> you know what I I'm thought, saying yep so that was one of my that was one of my preconceived notions that's a really good one yeah, yeah that not is. even to think about it like that yeah that's true man yeah. It was, it's, it's, I think a one can, one preconceived notion that some people have, and I don't know if it's, uh, I think it pertains more to people who are trying to live right, is for like, marriage is good, but a lot of younger people who going into marriage, who's saved and living right, they looking forward to sex. Yep. That's right. Like, we looking forward the to emotional sex. emotional. Yes. Sensual no aspect guilt, of it. You but know, I, right. I, but I don't that's have to feel what, condemned because, yeah. I, I, and it's a great thing, right. but that's, that's not, not all. That what should not be is. your motivator. And that's yes. honestly gotcha. not. That's not gonna keep y'all together. It's not. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna it's keep not. y'all together. Yeah, that's it's true. not. And it may be great and all, but it's like, say bro, that y'all one, not gonna be first... having sex all for. The, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Every day, nah. every minute for the rest of y'all marriage. Yeah, it shouldn't that's, be the glue. That's not realistic. Yeah. And if you go into a marriage expecting that and you don't get what you expected, it could cause friction and problems it in the marriage. It will. Yep. Cause friction and problems in the marriage. Yep. Mm, I but think I'm leaving. Like, it, it was, it's been times with <laughs> me and Kendrick. <laughs> it's been times with me and Kendrick. We, we found ourselves, like, content with each other. And we're like, man, we haven't done it in, like, four days. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because we're... Wait. What? I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Good. Four days? Four days, yeah. Wait, I think... Tobias... Oh, we're on strike. Are you kidding me? No, I'm me? saying... I'm saying... Oh. That is a... <laughs> Actually, you're cat. They saying that like that's a long time. 
Uh, I mean, they saying that like that's a, um, yeah, a long time. Oh. It kind of is a long be. time. <laughs> no, depending. They, that's why they gonna have like 40 kids. <laughs> no. I think it's also depending on lifestyle. Yeah. Time. No, yeah. that's real. That's real. That's if, real. If you got a lot and of how time. I work. To, right. See, Tyson or your and Kendrick job. are yeah, gotcha. you know, gotcha. together a little more, so it's not like little, everybody you else. You can be locked in on your hey. laptop. I can take breaks. It's not like everybody, <laughs> it's not like everybody else's job. Yeah. Like, I know me and Tobias, like, like when we was both working, it was like, yes, that's bro, we go home, go to Let's sleep. Go check the schedule. We what are you get talking this about? Leave, Man, bro. Sunday the only off day. We got to go to exactly. church all day. Yep. Man, just exactly. forget it. Forget it. For real. Okay. So, all right, next step, dating. Okay. All right, you you see somebody you like, you see somebody that is attractive, and you want to get to know this person, right? Mm-hmm. What was some of the things that throughout the dating phase that you learned that you should do, mm-hmm. and that other people should do, mm-hmm. or something that you learn and not or and something that you learn we can't do this, mm-hmm. and do it the way that God wants us to. It, it, that's not necessarily or specific to just sex. But right. uh, also, when it comes to, uh, like you said, making sure that you're getting married for the right reasons right. and all that type of stuff, um, making sure that you've forgiven other situations, like right. Kendra said. So what are some things during the dating phase that you think are fundamental to your marriage and some things that you think are fundamental to that you should not do during the dating um, phase that uh, will, would take your marriage backwards? You I, know, I, I'll speak on this because I... Me personally, I feel like in the dating phase, we be so, we be so concerned about abstaining. Mm-hmm. Like that's the only thing we concerned. We ain't concerned right. about no finances. Right. We ain't concerned about nothing. That's we, good. We so concerned about abstaining. Right. And if and that that's a good thing to be concerned from about. From sex, if y'all uh, from sex. not understand, yeah, yeah, from sex. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have to. One thing I had to learn to do is to honor Kendry's boundaries. Mm. Even if I don't understand the boundaries, like she got her boundaries for a reason, mm-hmm. and I got my b- boundaries for a reason. Like mm-hmm. if she like don't touch my leg, she know. Right. She knows w- right. what's best exactly. for her. Exactly. Right. So I have to honor that. Don't kiss me. Uh huh. Some people have those boundaries. Yeah. Because they know themselves, and you might be like, "Bro, y'all don't y'all can't kiss." Yeah. I know me. <laughs> yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? It's wisdom. I know me. Like we can hug, but don't kiss me. Yeah. Right. Um. But I think honoring honoring each other's boundaries. I had to take Kendra home at nine o'clock. Sometimes we would, I would take her home earlier than that because we know if we sitting in the car all night talking, yeah. we but, might actually talk sometimes. But bro. But at nighttime, you get a tingling feeling. <laughs> Come on, bro. It's like it's like like Music. just darkness just brings. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> right. Yeah. And that's I think. Really, okay, so that's something that you saying to. Uh, watch for boundaries, but what's the other one? Uh, something that you should not do. That you should not you do? You said something that you should do is watch for boundaries. Okay. What's something that you should that you stay should. away from? Or that um, something that maybe you do in dating phase that it's not really important or whatever. Okay. You know. Uh, I'll just say this because I had a job that was paying a lot while I was mm. um, dating Kendry, and we would eat out literally mm. every meal of every day and we together all day mm. we would eat out and we would sp- i literally counted one time i was like babe i'm spending 60 to 80 dollars a day on food mm. if we doing breakfast lunch he would get into it and dinner you see what i'm saying no, i'm not eating at home I would, if we doing breakfast first. lunch and dinner and kendra even brought up she was like well babe you know we're gonna get married why don't we just like shop like go get some groceries mm-hmm. i was like that is stupid right. <laughs> Literally, I thought that was Talking the stupidest cooking. thing. Yeah. I was yeah. like, "You want me to come to your house and then we'll cook?" And bro, I'm not. Come on, right? Like, right. So that's something I learned that I had to do because mm-hmm. going into marriage, I ain't had no bills before when yeah. I was dating. Right. Yeah. And I know some people have their own spot and stuff, and they understand the responsibilities of just being an adult in general. And in, in general, mm-hmm. but I did not get that. So that's something I had to, I had to pick up. I had to learn. I think uh, for me, um, as far as in the dating or just talking to different people, I probably, not probably, I should have set most of those boundaries at a high standard Mm -hmm. or a high uh, thing. And it was never like a, 
a lack of love or a lack of anything like that in my household. But you know how they be like, oh, my love that my parents and them give is a it's different a di- type is. of love. It is. That I, yeah, but even with that, just if I would have taken my time a lot of situations and just asked about the important things that's important to me, gotcha. then it would have been different in mm-hmm. the dating scenarios and yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what I think I should have done different with that. And I think as far as with my marriage should not, something that I do a lot is kind of, I could tend to worry too much sometimes. So for me, it was getting to the face of having a baby and realizing but we talking about dating though what, what should you not have done during dating time um as far as should not right okay so that should was hard not. for me to figure out too yeah because <laughs> you said that you should have implemented right. your high standards mm-hmm. of these uh, of these guys that you was dating what should you not have done what should you have stayed away from what should I stay away from? Right. I should just stay away from everybody. Yeah. I should just. <laughs> I should just stay away from it all. But and you would have never met me if you stayed away from it all. Honestly, bro, you were I away felt from like it we all. We met different. <laughs> we met different than I met a lot of the other guys that yeah, I talked to. Right. Like I would go out with my friends. Uh, you know, to rain, clubs or rain. No, I don't even freaking remember. Ty. Well, rain. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah. I remember, y'all see this, right? <laughs> no, but clubs are parties. But yeah. I would yeah. just guys would approach me. Mm-hmm. I was never in a situation to be like, "Girl, go over there, right? And talk to yeah. him." Right, 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 so right. it was always like, "Hey, I just want to get to know you. I want to talk to you." I'm like, mm-hmm. "All right, sure, like, cool." Mm-hmm. Like next thing you know, I'm texting like ten guys yeah. oh. that I have no commitment right. to. Right, but it's like. Okay, will it work with this, this, this? Yeah. I should have focused on yeah. one. She stayed away from it all. Th- yeah. Right, just you. stayed away I from it you. all. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Can't. Yeah, I had to write mine she down. Like, yeah. <laughs> How? Uh, should not have mm-hmm. entertained what I knew was wrong. Right. Mm. Um, I feel like it's a difference when you just not saved and you just talking to whoever. But like when you know what you know then you need to literally follow that like yes. don't take it lightly i was green especially when i went to college i was green but right. right before then i started dating a boy in my junior year of high school mm. and then from there it kind of just went downhill uh with the talking stages and stuff mm. like that just letting people play on your emotions yes. and stuff it's yes. just not healthy so yeah. um but i did learn a lot through that and mm. then uh what i should do is well, should have done is talk about uh, marriage and, um, you know, just honestly wanting that because a lot of guys yeah. just want you for that time right. and then right. that's it. Right. Like, they don't want a long-term thing. They always wanted to save the good girl for later mm-hmm. and have fun that's now. Insane, so bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's true. Insane. But that's just, that's true. Yeah, that's that like is. how the world thinks. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to do what I'm going to do and then when I get ready, I'll find the, yep. And I you was going to say with even that like both situations it makes it hard Mm -hmm. for when that person that you're supposed to be with Mm -hmm. comes along and it's just like oh let me give but your mind is so messed up yes when i met tobias my whole mind had to be renewed yeah like redone all over again and it was weird to me that he cared about my feelings my expression it was like Bro, you wasn't this used feels to it. weird. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I feel like if we allow ourselves to take time and just decide mm-hmm. no with this, set boundaries, then it will be different. And it yeah. won't be so hard to find that person that we're supposed mm-hmm. to be. Exactly. I will say, though, I'm go ahead. sorry. No, go ahead. I will say, like, I had a lot of girlfriends that would have this standard, and they would say yeah, they want yeah, Christian yeah. guys, but their standard was just too Bro, crazy. you're not even living that life. Like, you're saying that so. you won't date this colored person mm-hmm. because he don't have the Come type on. of teeth you want, and he's not six foot tall. Come on. Like, that's not realistic. For I mean, God will bless you with, mm-hmm. you know, what he blesses yeah. you with, but you can't just shut down just Based all the options if this that's is supposed in- to be. To me, that is crazy yeah. to say. I, I understand certain people have preferences on yes. what they think is attractive, mm-hmm. but right. to say 
this is but is in, in in essence is what you're saying is God, this is what I want. I don't care what you really have for me, because this is Come what on. I want. Mm-hmm. And Come you're gonna on. spend your whole life looking for what you want when what God has for you, that every desire that you had when you was a child is in this person. Yep. Right, right. You will never see that because you stuck in I want six foot straight teeth. I'm not six foot. I don't have straight teeth. That's a little crooked. Like, yeah, like look quick, look out. It, it, it's like we get that's the same thing with with astrology to me. Mm. Yeah. That's equal with that. Mm. Like, oh, no, you it's not, the truth. It ain't no to you. This month, oh, uh, uh-uh, uh, because y'all that makes no what? sense. Yeah, that that's makes no sense. But yeah. to base your future, yeah. bro, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, I think something that I would not have done. Um, and this was just. Like Chantel mentioned about just dating in general, mm-hmm. um, as a saved person, I would not have diminished or deleted or just erased a whole relationship because I felt like the other person was too good for me. Mm. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. I did that before. Yeah. And I'm not saying that I wish I would have never. I'm not saying that. But yeah. what I'm saying is I know a lot of people are in relationships right now that feel that way. Yeah. Right. They feel like the person that they're dating is too good for them, so they use that as an excuse to get out of it so that I can yeah. feel better about myself. Yeah, right. mm. That night when I broke up with that girl, I had the best sleep I ever had. Mm. But it wasn't because it was a good decision. Right. It was because the pressure that she was putting on me to come up, mm. I, wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't yeah. mature enough. Yep. Right. That, I, that's what I was going to say. It's a maturity thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I, I think that something that I, what did I say, would not have done, Mm-hmm. Something that I would not have done was to um, erase the whole relationship because I didn't feel good enough. Mm-hmm. Instead of taking that Try. and applying mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. so that I can mature. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Into because God may have used that person for me to level up. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and so I, that's something that I just I had to understand. Like, even if you're in a relationship like that, you don't have to leave because you see that somebody is in an elevated position. Cause most times if, we, if dudes be honest, the girl that mm-hmm. they come to, they pulling them up. Right. They, cause women are nurturers. Mm-hmm. They just normally do that. You know, uh, it's in their nature. And then, so one thing that I would, uh, have done, one thing that I would have implemented is more discipline and restraint. Mm. Right. There were certain right. things that I knew, like you were saying, don't touch me like this, don't do this. Mm. But because I was not disciplined, yeah. I gave in to what I felt like doing, right. Right. what felt good in the situation. Right. You know what I mean? And so the lack of discipline mm. uh, made me to make mistakes that I knew, not that I knew that I should not have made, but that I know I didn't want to make. Right. Because we can know that I shouldn't have done it, but right. I still wanted to do yeah. it. But if I, if I know... That I, I should like not have done it. Mm. Yeah, like I yeah. know I didn't even want to do that. Right. I know and I wanted to make it special. I know I wanted exactly. to make it uh, something that is uh, o- obeying the covenant mm. and reason why mm. it was implemented right. in the first place. Right. You know. And no condemnation to anybody watching if you have uh, done that mm. uh, before marriage, because all of us did some before marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we just testimonies of that but a lot of times in those situations when i did it i didn't want to do it Mm -hmm. but because i was a people pleaser Mm -hmm. and the person expected this from me because this is all they had seen Mm -hmm. i was like okay i want them to be happy Mm yeah and that goes back to what you were saying or whoever said you need to learn how to be alone right yeah yeah like yeah you gotta learn how to please god and please you, you know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Like to be happy with yourself yeah. before sacrificing mm-hmm. what's important and special yeah. for somebody else. And also another point on what you were saying about uh, uh, you, you wouldn't give in on uh, people calling you higher. I, I know there's an opposite side to that, too, mm-hmm. because some people are just unrealistic on what they calling you up to do. OK, right. Like. You need to do. You need to have this, and none of it is your desire. Right. Going back to people pleasing, I want you to have this yeah. job. I want you to do this car. Education th- and- exactly. And if that's not in what God has yeah. for you, and I'm not talking about being lazy, yeah. but if that's right. honestly not in what what God has for you, don't yeah. be a people pleaser yeah. in that aspect as well. Yeah, I got but, you. Yeah, yeah. 
I, and and I think that uh, and if so, if y'all watching and it's a lot of stuff that's running through y'all mind, don't bash us because we didn't mention it. Right. But put it in the comments. In the comments. Yeah, put it in the comments so we can read it Analyze and it come back and do a part two. Yeah, we can do a part two <laughs> because um, uh, like we said, we just took couples. Yeah. Right. So I know it's a lot of things that we didn't experience that maybe you experienced, mm-hmm. but you know we all here to help each other. So put it in the comments. Um, so this is going to be maybe the last question. Okay. What is something that to this point after being married, ha- you have learned that has shaped your marriage for the better? Mm-hmm. Something that you have learned and implement, implemented that has shaped your marriage for the better, on, especially on your end, um, from your perspective. Because I may see something that needs to be done that you may not see and vice versa, you know. So what has, what is something that you have noticed and implemented in the marriage after being married, after going through all this stuff, through dating and being alone and all this type of stuff that you implemented to make the marriage better and, and also to please God, you know, what is, what is one or two of those things? Uh, I, I, for me, the point of knowing, um, I'm trying to see how to say it, but like knowing your role and how there are specific things that men have to do and women have to do. Mm. There's seven things. There's specific things mm-hmm. that society tells us that men have to do and that exactly. society tells exactly. us that women have to do. That's true. And I had to learn in my own relationship what we have an agreement on. Like some men would say, "I am never doing the dishes. That is my wife's job." Mm-hmm. But for me, it is calming. Because we grew up doing the dishes. We did. My mom made us do the did. dishes growing up. So for me, it is Definitely calming did. to sit down, turn on a video, and wash the dishes. Like, yeah. that's chill for me. <laughs> like your relaxed time. Yes. Yeah. For me, it is calming to wash clothes. Mm. And Kendra will do those things, but it helps her as well. Yeah. Because she does things that women ain't supposed to do. Like, the other day, she came out there for an hour and a half and helped me do the right. yard. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And it was calming for her just to be outside. Yeah. Um, but just to know... To not to come up with your own roles because I know we got a lot of perversion yeah. in that area mm-hmm. in marriages and dating today, but in godly in the godly marriage and mm-hmm. godly dating mm-hmm. to uh, understand your partner and understand the person who's got who God has given you mm-hmm. and like I said at the beginning, be a team player. Yeah, when it comes to those understanding um, roles, that's good. Yeah. Uh, can you repeat the question? Bishop? Okay, so uh, so what is a couple things? that you have noticed about your marriage that could have used work or that works and you have implemented it and it has you know elevated your marriage with your husband from your perspective like he said he learned to know his role um and it kind of helped you know well make the marriage well-rounded you know you can go ahead okay i'm gonna say it don't matter i'll go um i think for me, I learned how to make my requests known. Mm. Um, a lot of times, I would either settle for something that take it to the chin, make oh, that me is really good. you know uncomfortable mm. or whatever, and I'm just like, okay, cool, because I'm also like, I don't like strife. Like I'm like, mm. all right, cool, like we'll do it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but make my requests known, and uh, two for me, it was me growing up and even being single and starting to work i've always been an independent person Mm -hmm. uh my dad gives i would say i'm a daddy's girl Mm -hmm. whatever i ask he will give it to me Mm -hmm. so growing up you know what i'm saying he did that but i worked made my own money Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. i'm like i need to know how to take care of myself Mm -hmm. so those are things that grew over time just Mm -hmm. stronger and stronger Mm -hmm. so when i got married and okay I'm still able to work. I'm moving. Jesus, the baby, yeah. the baby comes. Yeah. And it's that has jobs. been very hard for me, especially at the age she is now. She's nine months and I've come to, you know, peace with it's okay to stay at home mm-hmm. and yeah. be a stay at home mom. Mm-hmm. In my head, I'm like, bro, I just can't do this. Mm-hmm. But I know also that's something that my husband requires of me mm-hmm. to take care of our child yeah. and i'm like man i know he 
really wants it. I'm like, I gotta want it too. Like, I don't want nobody else. Uh, sorry, duh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no one else raising her or right, right, right. that's yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, want yeah. you to make that plain because it ain't right, that yeah. I like the image of her staying no. at home yes, yes, it's yes. because I don't you want have to everybody's go. feeding we my daughter's to mind raise yeah. our child we don't want excuses of throwing our children on anyone yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I know me even when I would work it doesn't matter I'm the type of person we're the type of relationship it doesn't matter about if he's making money and I'm making money and I he's the only person who pays bills, mm-hmm. he's the only person that does this, our money is the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. It's together. It's like I'll yeah, call and pay money. some stuff and get like it doesn't matter mm-hmm. to me. Yeah. So it didn't bother me, but it was bothering me because I'm like, I can't help. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. feel like you're not doing yes, your part. And gotcha. I cook, you know, all the time and mm-hmm. take care of Ari. But I had to be like, it's okay for me to accept this new role mm-hmm. that I have now. But so. I wanted you to clarify something to them. What do you mean by let your request know? I know what you mean, but they may be like, what is she saying? Ask for money all um, the time? You know not, what I mean? Like, okay. let them know. So even with that, a lot of times, even me expressing how I feel about situations would be exactly. hard. Yes. Um, because... I just wanted to take the easy way out. Like, I didn't want to explain a lot of things, even though if something hurt my feelings, Mm -hmm. I would roll it off like it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, it's fine. And I feel like that, it builds up. But to me, it was like, bro, I have tough skin. I can take it. It's cool. But when, for instance, like we said earlier, from talking to different guys and stuff, when I got in a relationship with Tobias... I cried our whole entire time we were getting to know each other because there was a lot of things built up. There right. was blocks everywhere mm-hmm. from me not expressing myself or mm-hmm. telling how I actually felt about things. Mm-hmm. So that's what I mean by... Letting your request know. Yeah. 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 So. That's it. Uh, um, okay. So I'm gonna try. And if to it's be, a if it's a if it's a couple things, you can talk about them. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna try not to be too long with it, long winded though. Mm-hmm. Um, dun, 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 dun. So the first thing is, I learned how to actually be a wife. So I'm explain. Mm. Not having my mom. My mom passed away um, when I was 14. Mm-hmm. So I've had examples <laughs> of you know my, I had my godmom, um, but I didn't. I never. Had my like my mom to show me different things. Right. What in the world? She's been in inter- you interrupted. I'm so sorry. You let oh, no. <laughs> oh, shut um, up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> so yeah, I didn't have that example for myself. So I was I was always scared. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I don't want to ask nobody for help. Like, yeah. how to yeah. cook this meal? Oh, my or goodness, yeah. okay, what do I clean with in the house? Yeah. Because it was like I should know those things, and it was but, kind of a little right. embarrassment there. Right. And so I was like, well, I gotcha. don't know everything. Exactly. So uh, even Titus' mom, um, we call her Mama Cody, and I was like, hey, Mama Cody, you gonna teach me how to cook some greens? And then she was like, yeah. She was like, you come over to the house, and you know we'll learn how to do it. Right. She was like, but just start with simple things. And so Chantel. I would go in the kitchen with her and she would just be cooking stuff and I'm watching, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. taking notes. And then mm-hmm. after, you know, a little while, I'm in the kitchen practicing right. myself because right. I said, my children and my husband right. are not going to talk about me, y'all. Right. Because that smell the chicken hit last That's some like, good, that's some good to take, what? Mama, that's that's mama, some good mama, to take pride in. Mama, um, this, <laughs> another thing, like I mentioned earlier, was unlearning habit, bad habits mm-hmm. in the family. So, I've always had a fear that my husband and I will argue really mm. bad that I would just yell because I promise you that's all I've heard mm. was just mm. yelling and I didn't want to bring that. I was like, I don't want to be the angry, you know, wife, yeah. just mad. Mm. So whenever we did get in, you know, disagreements because they come, um, you just have to realize that you're on the same team. Yep. And then it's like, okay, if I'm going to yell at, him that's like me yelling at myself and making myself feel bad i wouldn't want to do that so Mm, then you give you give a a a moment give each other a moment to have like some space you can come back together and just talk about it because like i said we're on the same team the last thing Mm -hmm. is um lower have mercy Uh, 
Uh, what was it? Uh, well, I guess I'll just say this because mm -hmm. I, I don't forget. Um, getting married so young, I got married at 19, Tice was 21. Mm -hmm. People will shame you. I don't know if oh, y'all yeah, experienced bro. this, but they will shame you. It feels worse yeah. than having a baby out of wedlock to me, just yeah. me personally. Yeah. Because know. it's like... It's, not a, it's, <laughs> it's, it's less accepted, honestly. Like, but y'all were like mid-20s, you know? That makes right. sense. So it's, it was it wasn't that makes sense. too crazy, sense. but they were just like, young. what they got going on? Oh, and then rumors would go around, oh, they must They're be pregnant. Oh, right, they must before be time. Doing God, and we yeah. were like, we not doing nothing. And no. I was like, doing what y'all want Exactly. So it's kind of like just... Uh, shutting the noise down mm -hmm. and just focusing on yes. what wow. God told you to do yes. because people will tell you, okay, you got to finish college. You got to uh, go ahead and do all of this mm -hmm. and you got to wait uh, for like two years and still be a fiance. Mm -hmm. That's not what yeah, we you want. You, wanna, you want us to burn? Mm. That's not dead. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we just went ahead and just listened to what <laughs> God says uh, and everything. Just keep prayer uh, and God at the center of everything and he'll, you know, direct you. Yeah. But that's that's all. That's that's a good point though, Ken, because yeah. I think that a lot of people project their brain exactly. and their experience yes. on what you not what you're doing, but what you should do. Right. And so when it don't line up with what you should do to them, then it's like you doing it wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. But I ain't you. Right. Yep. And like I think. They have a, sorry, like they have yeah. like a timeline. Yes. For you, mm -hmm. even with Jara. They was like, oh, I just can't imagine uh, getting married. So yeah, I was in the nail shop, y'all, getting my wedding nails done. And she was like, how old are you? I was like, 19. She was like, oh, my gosh. I got married at 30. I was like, well, congratulations. You, right. you didn't find anybody to you. <laughs> oh, okay, babe. Don't do it like that, though. <laughs> Don't but, do it like that. They, they, <laughs> they literally have a – people have a timeline, like a general timeline yeah. of what you should be doing yep. at this time. Yep. And they're – Eyes. Kendry is in her party stage. What? Why is she yes. not Talk partying to and talking about how many dudes? Right. You're gonna end your life like Do this. Whatever. You're gonna ruin your life like this by getting married when they don't even realize that the reason that they are unhappy is because they did exactly what yep. they're telling her to do. Yep. That's so. so that is why that's such a good you point. Are Thirty because you spent. 10, Ten of, of your years, years yep. trying Party to be a hot girl a or a hot boy. And they literally say, I want to make a lot of mistakes and know that this is what I want. But actually, that creates so more problems for your future. Because exactly. like you said, that stuff is in yes, your head Yes, that stuff now. is in your head, bro. And yeah. it can't be... one. And that's one thing that I have taken yeah, to heart. Once forgotten. you learn something, it can't unlearn... It can't just because you yeah. want it to. Right, right. It takes life. Yeah. It be takes yeah. uh, renewing your mind. That's why even right. the Bible says, don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed. So when you conform to the world, now you have you to have go through a whole other process transform. to renew your yes. mind. Mm -hmm. So even before you got saved, you got to renew your mind spiritually. Yeah. Now you got to even renew your mind in the natural from what society is telling you you should do yeah. as a woman at 19 as a man at 21 as a yeah. man at 25 as you should be this rich right, at this time right. you should be this broke at this time you right. know what i'm saying so if you allow society to dictate to you what you should do you will be miserable yeah mm -hmm. it'll be like ken said worse than them condemning somebody for actually doing something wrong yeah, yeah. you know what i mean so that that's a very good point and, and it's so important to be led by god and this is for everybody who's a, a professing christian now mm -hmm. if you ain't Tobias got some more videos for oh you to gosh. watch. Yeah, that, that's gonna Get lead saved. you to to <laughs> Jesus Christ. But yeah. for the profession Christians to be led by Christ and not be led by the customs and things yeah. of this world, because a lot of people will look at the situation that y'all uh, like the season that y'all are walking in right mm -hmm. now and be like, "Bro, he tripping." Yes, right. But you are led by God. God ain't told you to do nothing yeah. drastic yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you ain't gonna do nothing drastic. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it and same thing. It's it's yep. be led by God, yeah. bro. That's so true. Be led by God, no matter what it looked like. What you said, He told you, don't be scared of their faces. Don't be scared. No of matter their faces. what it looked like to other people, mm -hmm. like 
Right. Mm-hmm. That's that's good. Right. And don't be afraid to submit to the things that God may be convicting you about mm. either. Jesus. Because you may feel like, man, you know, God don't want me to. For instance, if he's telling you to stop dating people, stop going wow. out, stop doing all this stuff. Like, just, just, just obey. Just obey. Not sit there and second guess yourself Ooh, hurt. knowing what he said. Yeah, mm-hmm. You know it. You, you know, know what, what he said. He said. Yep. And then you'll trick yourself like, into yep. saying, God wouldn't, wouldn't tell, tell me to me. stop dating. <laughs> yes, he because will, how am I going to get married? He, he know my will. heart's design. He <laughs> understands you need to grow within yep. yourself more. You need to yep. let go some of the stuff Pain, from the past. Nothing. And realize yeah. that everybody, er, somebody else's conviction is also not yours. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times people push it on you. Yep. Like, yeah. well, I, don't do this because I didn't do. But like you say, we're not the same. Yeah. We're all different. But. Okay, so the thing that I have taken um, to kind of better our marriage and from my perspective is to be coachable. Mm. Like to always never mm. say in your mind, in your heart, or out of your mouth, this person can't teach me nothing. Mm. Mm. Because I have learned something from a homeless person that helps yep. my relationship. Yeah. Right. And I know you remember that instance mm-hmm. when that guy said that when we was doing the homeless ministry I stuff. I, I, but I know he it do because yeah, because okay. he was talking towards us. Right. Mm-hmm. And and that was not nothing directly, mm-hmm. but it made me realize right. ev- anybody who God put in your path, you can't look at their ability to be qualified. Yes. Right. Because if you do that there will not be many qualified people to help you Mm -hmm. because in your eyes, I got this, I got that. I got this together. I got that together. My mind better than theirs. My spirit's better than Mm -hmm. I I, I got this. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. And so then those people who come to you, you won't be able to receive and you will either decline. Most times you're going to decline because the Bible says those who are proud, proud and lift themselves up above people going to be brought down. And so I, I think that that's one thing that kind of helped me because I I don't even like when I approach her when she say something to me I don't just push it off like girl you don't know what you're talking about yeah I don't do that and I used to do that mm-hmm. I used to be like hey I ain't trying to hear that that don't make sense right and even though we may have conversations where we may say different things like that I don't say it, I don't mean it in a demeanor that's like I don't regard what you're saying right I don't I'm not uh, considering your words right. and even like I say to learn something from anybody mm-hmm. somebody who not even married because y'all got to yeah. think about mm-hmm. the person who taught us in the New Testament about marriage never he got didn't married even desire to be married never <laughs> so if if God uses somebody to teach you and I ain't talking about just in marriage I'm talking about with finance yep. I'm talking about with yep. uh being spiritual I'm talking about with um intimate time or whatever it yep. is you know, like those those things that we sometimes push off because of qualification mm. can lead us in the wrong direction because of our own. Oh, I think I'm leaning to my own understanding, basically. Mm, right. And so that was one thing that I and so my ability or my, um, you know, humility and learning from everybody allows me to teach her mm. different things that I have never thought I would be able to help her with. But it's because I have soaked. I've I've like allowed these people to Spongy. wreck me, like yeah. to say, "Nah, that ain't right, bro." Uh, uh, bro, you need to do this better, and not look at them and be like, "Who are you to tell me that?" Right, right. Who are you to to correct? You ain't got that together. Mm. And I know that's not a thing that the world teaches. Like you can't help mm. somebody, or you can't take from somebody who ain't got that together. But I'm telling y'all. I'm not saying do it with everybody, right. but sometimes you can discern yeah. when it's spirit led yeah. or when it's just somebody's, like Ken said, it's somebody's uh, desire for you that's right. from them. Right. right. And you have to be able to discern that. And so um, that was one thing that I've learned to be coachable and not misplace people's uh, constructive criticism mm. right. or their, you know, teaching and different things like that. So. Um, do anybody have anything they want to just add? I would just to say, say on yours that simply Jesus, the whole time that if we look through the history of the Bible, mm-hmm. he just uses unqualified people. That's the only people he used. 
like. No, give me him over there. That's it. No I don't want the person no who got it no together. Yeah. Nah. yeah. He said, I use the foolish things to confound, to confound the, wise. the wise. Yep. To prove that I am God. Yep. Mm-hmm. But that's all. Yep. Yeah, that's that's so true. Um, but yeah, um, I I appreciate you guys for being because y'all don't know Ken was three seconds from she being asleep, go sleep. and y'all can't even tell because she was so joyful sleep. and so you know. But but uh, I My appreciate all y'all, matter. huh? My sleep doesn't matter. <laughs> no, I you know you, you wrong. but 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 Ken was like, yo, if you don't hurry up, <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying. So y'all almost didn't get a video, but we love y'all, so we made it. We made it happen. Thank God. But uh, make sure if you have not already, come here. You come in. Y'all better come here. If you have not already, go ahead and like, mm-hmm. comment, uh-huh. and subscribe, uh-huh. and click the notification bell. Click uh-huh. that I probably pointed to every wrong corner. Yeah. It's probably like over there. No, <laughs> or like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's confusing because it's backwards. But uh, I appreciate y'all. This is oh. the Friday night stream. Uh, we will be back on Monday. Um, so I appreciate y'all for watching. And also, you can give to the Super Chat while yes. you're here. Um, it should be back in the uh, description. So um, I appreciate y'all. And uh, make sure that y'all do like they said and like and comment and uh, subscribe so as many people as possible can see this. Because I know uh, just this small, you know, uh, these small comments can help a lot of people. Yeah. Um, so I love y'all and I will see y'all next time. Just cause it looks sloppy, it don't mean that it's a sloppy Joe, the eyes can be deceiving They said they had your back, but they went there right when you need them You heard her say she loved you later on, so she was cheating Tried to tell you that she wasn't the one, but we disobedient It ain't many who I'm trusting, but just know I'm trusting Jesus We don't wanna listen to the things that's the most important We be worried about that quick cash and them cars that's imported On our list above prayer, we got the newest pair of joints Give me a feature, Caleb Gordon